Let's look at containers in Visio 2019. Containers can really help us out in a complex type of network. So what I can do is go to the Insert tab at the top, and we see I've already got a few shapes here. And I'm going to click on the container, and I'm going to choose one of the containers that are in here. And you can see as I move around, it's going to show you the type of container it's going to create. And then I can go to the Pointer tool at the top, and I can move these various different shapes into my container. There we go, we'll shrink those down a little bit, make them easier to see. And if you want, you can also add labels so we know what those are. There we go. Now if I highlight the container, I can move it wherever I want, and anything that's inside it will move with it. And this is where it becomes really useful, because let's say I've got several different offices. So I'm going to say I've got, this is a Portland office right here, and then let's go back to Insert, Container, and we'll choose the same type once again. And now let's say I've got a Seattle office. There we go. And in Seattle, I have one of these giant mainframes, which I'll shrink down a little bit, maybe a server, and let's just say a router. There we go. And once again, if I click the container, I can move all of the objects around that are inside it. So these containers create a visual representation of my uh, diagram for my particular network, for instance. It doesn't have to be a network. It could be any one of the different uh, types of shapes that are in here. We've got business shapes, engineering, etc. But a lot of network administrators use this, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the network as an example. Um, you can also resize your container if you want, make them all the same size, a little more uniform. And what we can do is by having these different containers in two different offices, I can go down and create additional pages. So if I click on plus twice, there we go, I've got page two and page three. I still have my page one, nothing's happened there. But now what I can do is in my page two, I can go and click text and I can say Portland. And we'll just highlight that text, make it bigger. There we go. And I'll make it black a little easier to see. And I'll click page three, and I'll do the same thing, but this time I'll type in Seattle. And once again, I'll make it bigger, and I'll put make that black. There we go. So on page one, it represents all the different offices that I have. And then in page two and three and however many offices you have, then you can create your detailed diagrams in there. So at a glance, you can see, A, how many offices you have, and B, what type of equipment you have in those offices. So it's a great way to use containers. And then you can use these pages to uh, give more detailed information. So that is how you insert and use containers in Visio 2019.